um, a message I was getting for you guys. I was getting that somebody is keeping a secret. I was getting a strong air energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Also, for some of you, this is a secret regarding a child. Or so somebody's hesitant to tell you something or scared to tell you something. For those of you interested in a personal reading, go check out my website at swordstarot.com to look at my different readings options over there. Also, be sure to go check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com. I have a lot of super cute stuff over there for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into the video. Universe, what are the messages for Aries? What are the messages for Aries? Okay, so you have the Knight of Swords energy here. So trying to get away from something, possibly running away from something. I also feel that there could be somebody that you need to talk to. You need to, like, it's like something needs to be straightened out. And what is the energy surrounding Aries? Okay, for some of you, this is in a relationship, the Hierophant energy here. Um, also, I feel you may, I guess, fear that somebody is not wanting to commit or somebody is not capable of committing. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus energy here. But I really, I feel that somebody's very flighty. Yeah, King of Pentacles energy. And I feel that um, you guys are just wanting to be solid. You're just wanting, you know, to be able to... 100% trust this person. I feel some of you are questioning, like, can I trust this individual? For some of you, this is someone that you've taken back from the past. I also feel there could be options here for you. King of Cups energy. Some of you guys will be done with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, I see for this water sign here, I feel like this person is very happy to be with you or happy to be talking to you. The Nine of Cups energy, it's like maybe they hope for this connection to move forward. And I do feel for some of you, this is somebody that is coming in. The Five of Pentacles energy, I do feel like for a lot of you, finances could be a big focus for you right now. That could be why the King of Pentacles energy is here. Some of you guys are just trying to get back stable. And I do see you achieving that. A lot of you are gonna be putting a lot of dedication into something. And a Pentacles energy, this could be a business that some of you guys decide to start or a job that you decide to go for. Um, this is going to take your full dedication, but I do see this having an ideal outcome. If you're trying to save up for something or just trying to be more financially stable or get yourself out of this hole, I do see you doing that. The world card energy, this is a new beginning for a lot of you. For some, it's love. For some, it is career or business. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Aries? The moon card. Okay, so... The moon card to me, this is things happening behind the scenes. Also, this can represent what's happening in the dark. It can represent a secret as well. But I will say for a lot of you behind the scenes, you are manifesting exactly what it is that you want. The nine and ten of cups, this is overall satisfaction and happiness. The nine of cups, this is wish fulfillment as well. Yeah, something is going to go your way regardless of maybe what. A love situation you're dealing with or other situations that you're dealing with in your life do know that career wise you're on the right path that things are going in your favor universe why is the knight of swords energy here for aries <clears throat> the page of cups yeah somebody's immature could be this air sign here king of swords at the bottom of the deck somebody is immature and they are keeping secrets it's like the, you know the connection is cute with this person the page of cups you know it's like yeah they're you know, making an offer, making an effort. And maybe for some of you, it's like, it's not enough. It's like they're coming up as the Page of Cups and you're coming up as the King of Pentacles. So it's like, it just seems like you guys are at different levels or at different phases of your life. What We do have these star card energy here as well. So do know whatever it is that you're dedicating your energy to, it is going to turn out exactly how you want. Uh, maybe you're getting a lot of ten attention right now for maybe what you create or what you do. Clarifying the King of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups. So financially, you are going to reach um, the level of stability that you want. I love that the Ten of Cups has come out twice because it's just confirming for me that everything is going in the right direction as far as career. Continue to focus on that. For those of you that are um, doing something independently or doing your business or whatever it is, it is going to pay off for you. So keep going. Also, I'm getting as well, for those of you that are dealing with a Virgo, I do feel like this is going to go very well. 
applies the King of Cups energy here. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. So yeah, the Hierophant, this is your dedication. Also, the Hierophant could represent a contract of some sort. Some of you guys may be buying a house, buying a car. Do know this is the right decision. The Wheel of Fortune, things moving in your favor. I feel like a lot of you are really going with the flow right now. Like, yeah, maybe you're trying to get yourself out of um, some sort of situation, some sort of financial situation, whatever it is. I see you staying pretty calm about it. Or, of course, the advice is to stay pretty calm about it. Universe, why is the Ten of Cups energy here? And it's like, is as you stay you know, pretty chill about things, you're just like, you know what, I'm just going to do what I need to do. And I'm going to let go of control and just kind of take it one step at a time. Things just start to improve for you very quickly. Um, we do have the Two of Swords here, so I feel like a lot of you question, like, you know, are things going to truly work out with this water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy? Why is the Two of Swords here? I see you uncertain. Maybe this person holds back or maybe you feel like you need to hold back from this person. I feel like some of you guys may fear that there's a third party with that person as well. Yeah, you feel that this person is using you. Now with the Five of Swords energy, listen to that. And I feel like this person, they may say like, oh, we're going to move in together. We're going to get married be careful because of the five of swords i do feel like this person may be using you for something maybe they're dependent on you devil at the bottom of the deck this person may be financially or emotionally or whatever dependent on you or maybe this person lives with you maybe they need a place to live why is the five of swords energy here okay yeah the four of swords like you're you're starting to see i feel like you're starting to see the true the true colors of this person here. You're ready to move on and heal. Or maybe you are healing from this situation currently. Why is the Five of Pentacles energy here? Okay. The High Priestess. So yeah, it's like... The Five of Pentacles, it's a very low vibrational energy. And I feel like this is the energy that this person operates in. And maybe they've dragged your energy down as well. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Cancer. I'm going to strong Cancer, Pisces energy here. The High Priestess and the Chariot. Yeah, okay, so some of you could regret fucking with this person. And maybe you're kind of putting back the pieces. Maybe you've already left this person. You're just putting the pieces back together, just the pieces of your life, the pieces of your finances, putting it back together. So do know that things are going in your favor and you did make the right decision for those of you that have left to this person that has dragged you down for so long. Why is the world here? Yeah, the death card energy with the world. Yeah, you made the right decision. <clears throat> and there is a new beginning coming in for you as well. Why is the moon card energy? And I feel like the moon is just representing things happening behind the scenes for you. Yeah, the five of pentacles, like maybe right now you feel alone or abandoned or, you know, just lonely. But do know love is coming in. Ace of cups, the bottom of the deck. Some of you, this is with an earth sign. Queen of pentacles, the bottom of the deck as well. Universe, what is the overall advice for Aries? Okay, the Six of Cups. So I feel like this is reflecting on your past, the things that you've gone through, and really paying attention to the lessons that you're supposed to learn. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Be open and accept new opportunities and new energy that is coming in. And I feel like this is for love, also career as well, because there is a lot of um, new opportunities coming your way as far as both of those go but yeah mostly i feel like this is saying to continue to move on from the past and accept what has happened maybe with this person or just you know whatever it is that you've dealt with that has been very difficult for you this has been kind of making you feel like this um to accept what has happened and allow yourself to move forward and give your time give yourself time to heal i do feel like this is important to take some time for yourself and just allow yourself to truly heal and move on from the situation so I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at sourcetarot.com. Also, I will leave the links to my other channels at the, uh, in the description bar as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.